Welcome to my channel. I'm Dante Ferrigno. Be sure to check out my merch shop before you leave today. I've been putting together these designs for the carnivore community to be able to screw it, get up and do it. Check out some of the other designs I've got going on right now. Did someone say steak? I've got legalized freedom gear and I've got new designs on the way. A little bit slow going this morning. You know, ever since I had uh, a couple of surgeries here right above my belly button, they had to go in over my belly button to laparoscopically remove my gallbladder back in 2002. And then they had to go back and repair the hernia that was created by the hole they put in the uh, gut wall there that uh, came open and I could feel my guts moving around underneath or right above my belly button and back in 2007 and I noticed it when I lost weight then too because that was when I had just lost 88 pounds doing Atkins diet and it was like I couldn't tell it was a problem until I lost the weight so I had to get the surgery done and then all these years since then I get this pain in that area especially when I wake up in the morning and you know, I kind of attributed it to maybe it was that mesh thing that they put in there, but I really don't know what's going on. I've had CT scans done it done on it and been told there was nothing there. But what I did find out when I went to the doctor the other day is especially if I would do this at night, which I didn't do it last night, but I've been doing it this morning, is it just kind of kind of move that area around that was where the surgery was done just kind of massage it some and it does have a little bit of an effect but you know what I find is that beforehand I wasn't really doing that because I was kind of afraid to touch it it was it was not comfortable but now that I know what's going on I've been doing that for the past couple of days and it really makes a difference what it causes me to have is this feeling when I wake up in the morning it's almost like my body is already in fight or flight mode it's feeling the dread of something I don't know if it's the dreams I have at night because I don't remember them anyway or if it's just from the tightness in my gut and it it creates that similar feeling to having the tightness that comes when you feel dread um, but it feels like the, the, the feeling itself the the pain in the gut area is actually what causes the anxiety to be elevated because I wake up first thing in the morning a lot of times when it's painful like that. And it's hard to get going on those days. Mentally, it's hard to get going. So it's remarkable to me how much physical effect can have on your mental status, especially when it relates to the gut area. But anyway, I pushed through this morning, gonna get these electrolytes in, and gonna get started on these push-ups. Well, I'm out on my walk. The sun isn't quite up yet. I'm about two thirds of the way through this ruck. Got 38 pounds on my vest. For those of you keeping track, that's 32 pounds of weight and six pounds of extra protection. <laughs> uh, gotta make sure when you're walking out here in the dark in these rural areas, you never know what's gonna walk up on you. And you know, normally by now, I might have already gone to the bathroom, but I have got to pee Normally I'd just step off into the woods and take care of that, but I'm in the 23rd hour of my 24 hour iodine loading test. So I gotta make it back home. I still got a mile to go. <laughs> so that has me walking a little faster than normal because <laughs> I gotta get there. But uh, I do wanna continue. Oh, and just to tell you a little bit about the iodine loading test. It is one of those tests that I ordered from, I think it was called H Hakala Labs or something like that. But anyway, I'll, I'll be making a video dedicated to that, but I started off this morning finishing up, filling up this bottle. Uh, I hit the three liter mark. So I got I had to pour it out, you know, I had to add, it's hard to describe, but I'll, I'll show you. 
And to be honest with you, I can't talk about it anymore because it's making me have to go even more. And I still got to make it about 20 minutes before I can release this. But uh, I do want to keep talking about a little bit about the gut issues that I had. Because I get a lot of people that ask me, what kind of gut problems did you have? What did you think caused it? And one of the things that I've, you know, told people is that I really don't know. I never got an accurate diagnosis. But I can tell you some of the things that I have been able to detect or to notice along the way that might have exacerbated things. And being that it's in the gut area, I think it really does have a huge effect on the brain. Now, something else that I did, and I'd love to know if your experience is similar to this, because I know my young son, uh, I have two children of my own aside from my stepsons here, but my son, who is in his 20s now, he had his gallbladder out when he was 18, and they took it out the same way, laparoscopically. So, I wonder if other people here who have had some of these gut issues or gut pains or things that pushed them to start this diet had anything similar where they had surgery in the area of their belly button area. But another thing that happened is early in 2020, I had this weird round of illness, which was like flu, but it wasn't like flu. It also wasn't like the other thing you're thinking of because I've had that a couple of times and it, was, it, was, it wasn't quite the same, but it was a lot more like the flu. Uh, anyway, whatever it was, it stuck with me because they gave me a round of Z-Pack and an extra round to take initially. So I had taken two full weeks and then I still had some lingering symptoms and they gave me a third Z-Pack after that. And I really think that three rounds of those heavy antibiotics like that just did a lot of damage to my gut biome and caused me not to be able to digest things like I should and maybe proliferated the the kind of stuff in there that that wants all the worst things or takes my gut in the wrong direction. I guess you'd call it the bad bacteria. Again, that's that's speculation. Maybe some of you have had similar experiences like that, so you can tell me about your experiences and how you think it might relate to your gut issues. But you know, there was one other thing, and I've mentioned this before, but I like to be sure to cover it in a video where I'm talking specifically about these things. And that is the effect of cortisol and stress. You know, stress causes us to produce cortisol and cortisol is a big part of adding that weight on, but also the stress itself causes pain physically in our gut. So I think they mix together. And I was under a lot of stress. You know, being the administrator of a retirement home has a little bit of stress that comes with it normally. But when we started dealing with the pandemic, it was like, well, really, when we started first dealing with the ACA and how to be able to operate and take care of these folks and jump through all the ridiculous hoops that that had starting in 2013. But then when 2020 rolled around and we had to start dealing with the pandemic, it just was like stress on steroids. And then one year later, I started doing this diet. So I don't think it's any stretch of the imagination to believe that the stress itself contributed to it, the antibiotics contributed to it, the previous surgery con contributed to it, but also the way I used to eat. Oh man, that is so pretty. I just ate high octane, whatever I could get my hands on. I don't know if you can see that. Let me turn around and take a picture of this. Oh, I love when the sun is just coming up in the sky, how pretty the sky looks. Oh, that's enough of that. I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> I do not know how I'm gonna make it the rest of this mile. It is, it is really challenging. But to, to do this uh, iodine test ride, I've gotta collect it all. But I would love to hear your comments about any issues you've had. You know, what are some of the experiences you had? Uh, I know I used to eat things that were really rough on the gut because my diet was so was so wide. I would eat anything, basically. I mean, I was like some of those guys on the, the History Channel that would go around the world and try the craziest things. I mean, I've had, I've had balut from a street vendor in the Philippines, which is a partially hatched duck in an egg. And that was, that was an experience that I won't repeat, but that's the kind of thing I used to do. And of course I was also, uh, well, not of course, but I was also big on, on eating spicy things. 
ghost peppers and jalapenos and habaneros, chipotles, whatever I could get my hands on. The hotter the better. I was one of those people that liked to do the challenges, see how hot I could go when I went to Buffalo Wild Wings and try the insane sauce or something like that. Foolishness. Foolishness now that I look at it because I can't even digest regular spices without having gut pain now. So, I mean, there's a lot of things I probably did to contribute to this. But now that my body is where it is, I'm just finding that meat is the only solution for me. And it may be the only solution for you if you've done enough damage like I did or had enough damaging things happen. Sam's here with me today. He had to stop for a second. I'd love to hear your comments about how your, how your gut issues got to where they were, how many of your mental health issues you feel like got the way they were. But I think that we all experience a lot of similar things and we've all been eating a lot of the same foods. So maybe our stories tie up a lot more than we would think. So let me know in the comments and let's share that with each other. Let's have a discussion today in the comments about what you think led to the issues that you have and uh, how well this diet has been helping with them because I know I feel like a whole different person and I'm looking forward to doing this again in the morning. Now I'm just gonna run back because I can't stand it anymore. I gotta let this out. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat? Oh, I am just making it back. I'm gonna tell y'all, if you ever do this iodine loading test, don't be far from that, that jug you need to fill. <laughs> this has been a rough walk back. I ran as much as I could, but it's kind of hard with an extra 38 pounds and a camera and a dog. <laughs> Ooh, and I gotta go. I'll see y'all. <laughs>